Hello, I'm Peter Marzano. This is Gabe Marzano. <laughs> and we're going to be doing the post game of the game six. This is where the Hawks have finally won the Stanley Cup. Thanks after, to this man. I'm sorry. After 49 years of pain, after going through talents that never lifted a cup in Chicago, like Steve Larmer, Jeremy Roenick, Dennis Savard, all these people never won a cup while with their tenure in Chicago. Now, these young guys, Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves, have definitely uh, stepped it up, and that's why they won the cup. Patrick Kane has scored the game when he goal. He made the net possible. And Jonathan Taves wins the Conn Smythe Trophy as the playoff MVP. Last, he's following it up after two impressive wins by Henrik Zetterberg and Evgeny Malkin. That puts him in some pretty good current company. Now, let's get to the game now. The game started off with Chicago obvious, well, I'm not going to say obviously, but they were really owning the play. Dustin Bufflin now is getting set up by Jonathan Taves on the power play. Bufflin throws it home. Now what do you think the Hawks are doing? Do you think that they're, they got the wheels in motion, or do you think that they just got to keep playing the way they are, or are they going to continue to pile on? Keep playing the way they are and keep getting physical and getting the pucks to the net. Now, uh, penalties were a problem. Brent Sopel committed two, and one of them, which was a result of a late power play goal by Scott Hartnell in the first. Now, the Hawks are really out shooting the Flyers. How do you think this change the mentality going into the locker room uh, before the second period. Um, for Quinville saying, you know what, you guys, this is the cup, this is it, you gotta, you gotta play out there, you just gotta get out there and boom, get it up to the net. Now, it was actually sort of a push between the first, you know, throughout the first five minutes of the second period, but eight minutes in, Daniel... Daniel Briere snaps one home, makes it two to one Philly. What's happening here? They're not playing them, but it's two to one the other team. Hawks say, "Okay, we're down. It's not over. They, they, they still have the confidence that they can win this." Yeah. Now uh, Patrick Sharp gets a wonderful feed from Dave Bull. And this is a, this is I think a great play. Duncan Keith rushes up ice. He becomes a three on one for a brief amount of time. Duncan Keith gives it to Dave Boland in the slot. Now, it looks like he's going to shoot point blank at Michael Layton, but he dekes him out, goes to Patrick Sharp on the right wing, fires it home. It's a tie game. And another thing to note, this is right after a questionable penalty when I married Hosa for goaltending interference. So the Hawks just sucked all the momentum out of Philadelphia. It's 2 2 now. So, uh, you know. <laughs> Do you think that Philadelphia, when you were watching the game, did you think Philadelphia was going to capitalize on the power play that they had upcoming? Capitalize mean. <laughs> capitalize means convert. <laughs> score. Let's convert. I, I just said score means to so, score. So like, so like scoring? Yeah. Capitalize is to like take advantage of something. Take advantage of the power play. You can just say take advantage. <laughs> so who's taking advantage of what? Philadelphia had an upcoming power play okay. after this Chicago goal. Okay. Which I'm sure you know. Yeah. <laughs> when you were watching the game, did you think Philadelphia was going to score or do you think the Hawks would hold them off? Hawks hold them off. Huh? And that's exactly what they did. Now before the period ended, Nicholas Stromerson just fires a slap shot he has a really fast slap shot. Andrew Ladd screening Michael Layton is able to put it home. And this makes it a 3-2 to two game for Chicago. Looks like it's destiny. They are probably, I'm not going to say definitely, but probably, which they ended up doing, going into the third period with a one-goal lead. It feels like it's destiny. You have 20 minutes left until you touch a Stanley Cup, which puts you on top of the <laughs> hockey world. Now, uh... <laughs> But then, in the third period, when there was around three minutes, three break. minutes, yeah. what? Uh, actually, four minutes. Three Same diff. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and and then who scored? Scott. Okay. Scott Hartnell. Hartnell scored, and then the Hawks are thinking, "Man, this is done. We're done." Yeah, he but, tipped in a timely shot right there to tie it up. And then the Hawks took a timeout. Quinville's talking to. <laughs> Quinville's talking to them. 
saying, come on, you guys, you're tough, you can get out there, put the puck to the net. Even though they didn't, overtime, Kane, kaboom, we win the cup. Yeah, and I think definitely the mentality before that was that, you know, they had the Stanley Cup on their fingertips. Now it looks like it's destiny for the Flyers that they're just going to score in <laughs> overtime. So, I mean, a complete shift of momentum, but... Like you said, Patrick Kane takes a questionable shot. And, you know, Michael Layton played great, but uh, it, it must be pretty tough to see him let, one, let that one in for Flyers fans. He let in a really soft goal, and that gave uh, Chicago a Stanley Cup. Sometimes, you know, it's going to, it's gonna you know, be a save, and you're going to get out of it. But, you know, he played so great. He's had a great postseason. He was able to shut down Boston. He was able to shut down Montreal, and now he runs into this problem. So, uh, are you laughing? <laughs> okay, so, Gabby, I'm going to ask you, name three things. Not three things. Well, yeah, three games do you think that were played during the regular season and the postseason that you think got them there? I don't know, Peter. <laughs> Now, um, I gotta say, the first one, one of them, would be that big comeback against Calgary at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Down five goals. Now, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a big game. And it'll obviously, you have the game five against Nashville, where they tied it up late. And that, I think, they could have been down three games to two and end to go to Nashville to possibly lose in the first round. So that completely turned around their postseason. And then you got to look at Rocky Wirtz, completely changed the team. John McDonough, Jay Blanc, and let's not forget Dale Talon, who single-handedly drafted all, drafted, picked up, or signed every one of the players on his team besides Nick Boynton. So definitely a huge kudos to Dale Talon. Dale Talon. Dale Talon. Goalies, Antti Niemi went 21-24. He made a very timely save at the end of the third. And Michael Layton, 33 for 37. Who was the best goalie in this game? Sorry. Niemi! <laughs> no. Um, that's it. The Hawks are Stanley Cup champions for the first time in 49 years. Now, I don't know what to say, but this is it. The cup has been won, and we'll see you next year. Adios.